this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to manage different iPhoto libraries, create new ones, move photos to and from iPhoto libraries, and delete them. And basically, tons of different customization options you can do with different iPhoto libraries using iPhoto Library Manager by Fat Cat Software for Mac. And you can download that with the link in the description, and it is $20, but there is a free version so you can try it out first. So this is iPhoto Library Manager. As you can see here on the left, it contains your current iPhoto library and which one is selected. I only have one right now. In the middle here, it shows the events you have in that library. You can also switch to album view. And then here on the right, it's the info for your iPhoto library, the location, you can reveal it in Finder. You can calculate the size and see the data is modified. And if you click here where it says options, here are the different permissions which other people and you have with it. So I myself can read and write, which means I can view the photos and ch make changes to them. And others can only view them is what that means. And then here are some other settings and you can click done to get out of that. Now, if I wanted to create a new iPhoto library, all I have to do is click new library. It's right here. And a dialog comes up and you want to type in the name for the library and choose a place to save it. So I'm going to type in library two and I'll just save it in my pictures folder where my other iPhoto library is already saved. And I'll click create and your new iPhoto library is created. If you double click on it, it'll open in iPhoto. You can also click this button. And if you select current, then the next time you open iPhoto, that's what it'll open. Also, if you hold down option while you're opening iPhoto, a dialog box will come up and you can select which iPhoto library you'd like to use. But for now, I'll leave it on this one. And I'm going to choose which events I would like to put in library two because right now as you can see there are zero photos in here so let's just say I wanted the cars and Denver 06 album I'll hold down command and select both of them and just drag them right in it's gonna have to open it up and then it'll copy all your pictures over so as you can see iPhoto has opened And I'll come back when it's done. So as you can see now, it's done. It goes through a lot of steps, so just be patient. It'll have to import all the faces. And after it's done importing the photos and generate the thumbnails, all that stuff. So if you just leave it, and depending on the size of each photo and how many photos you're actually moving, the time it takes to complete the operation might differ. Other than that, if you just wait, it should be pretty quick. So I click OK. And now as you see, I've got a 137 photos in here and my two events, which I imported. And if I go back here, the events are still there. So you can just click on them and click delete, but I won't do that right now. And so let's say I don't want this library anymore after I've already created it. You can just click remove library right there. Oh, but it's actually saying that it can't be removed because it's in use in iPhoto. So if I quit iPhoto by clicking this button, or you can just do Command Q while in iPhoto, and then click Remove Library, it will remove it. And there we go. Much quicker to remove than create, obviously. And I'm back to my original library. So that's basically all you need to do to manage your iPhoto library. You can easily move photos back and forth between multiple libraries and save libraries in different locations and manage a ton of settings, which makes this application very useful. So thanks for watching this tutorial. And if you like this video, if it helped you out, click the like button and be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks and see you next time.